talk a little bit today about Wish You Were Here. Great example of a song that you're holding down a chord or strumming a chord and picking out a little melody in the bass that goes along with it. There's a bunch of Neil Young songs that do this, uh, Beatles tunes do it. In Wish You Were Here, the key, again, with a lot of songs that you're trying to keep a solid rhythm in is that the right hand motion never stops. So you start, you're holding the, uh, a high G down with your third finger, uh, your little finger, a high D down at the third fret with your third finger. These two fingers stay there the whole time. Then all of the melody is played with your first and second fingers. You can figure most of it out by ear, I'm sure, but uh, I have tablature to it at Totally Guitars, so come on over there if you, wanna, if you need to see it written out or if you haven't found it already. But it um, starts with a hammer-on from A to B. Your first finger is going to hammer on the B from an A. Then an open D, and then your first finger goes to E. So that's the first little run. Followed by some strumming. We'll go more into the depth with the strumming in the, in the lesson over Totally Guitars. But you just have to keep the strum for the right amount of time. Then the next part of the melody is G, open G to E, and back down to D, and then you just strum the chord again. You could add more of the G chord if you want a little fuller sound, you could do this. And then put down the rest of the chord if I want to. The next run starts with the low G. Hammer on from A to B, D and E, it's basically the same thing. One extra note on the descending run this time. E, G, So, more of that lesson is available at Totally Guitars, so if you want a little more in-depth look at Wish You Were Here, including the lead. So we have a lesson that talks about the lead as well, and uh, come on over there and check it out.